Jean-Dominique Bobby's memoir, The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, tells the story of his life after suffering a stroke that left him completely paralyzed, with the exception of his left eye. Bobby's book is a remarkable piece of literature that captures the essence of what it means to be human, despite physical limitations. Through his words, Bobby reminds us that even when we are unable to move or speak, we still have the ability to think, feel, and imagine. Bobby begins his book by describing his condition, which he calls locked-in syndrome. He explains how he is able to communicate with the world through a system of blinking his left eye, which allows him to select letters on a special board. This method of communication is slow and tedious, but it allows him to express himself and maintain his connection to the outside world. As Bobby reflects on his life, he describes his past experiences, including his career as a successful magazine editor and his relationships with his children, his former partner, and his parents. He also shares his thoughts and feelings about his current situation, including his frustration with his physical limitations and his appreciation for the small pleasures in life, such as the taste of a perfectly cooked oyster. Despite his circumstances, Bobby's writing is full of humor, wit, and insight. He is able to find joy in the simplest of things, such as the warmth of the sun on his face or the sound of a bird singing outside his window. He also reflects on the nature of life itself, pondering the meaning of existence and the beauty of the world around him. One of the most striking aspects of Bobby's book is his use of imagery and metaphor. He often compares his body to a diving bell, trapping him in a world that he cannot fully participate in. However, he also sees his imagination and his memories as a butterfly, able to flutter freely even as his body remains immobile. This contrast between the limitations of his physical body and the boundlessness of his mind is a powerful and poignant theme throughout the book. Another notable feature of Bobby's writing is his attention to detail. He describes his surroundings and his experiences with vividness and precision, creating a rich and immersive world for the reader. For example, he describes the process of eating a single strawberry in such detail that the reader can almost taste it themselves. By taking pleasure in the small things of life, one does not give in to sadness or boredom. In the strawberry, I taste infinitude. Here are all the fires of summer, and all the winter's frost. I have to get used to the length of the voyage. This morning I took nearly an hour over a strawberry. Bobby's writing is not only beautiful and engaging, but it is also a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Despite his physical limitations, he refuses to give up on life or to despair over his situation. He finds meaning and purpose in his writing, using his words to connect with others and to share his unique perspective on the world. In conclusion, The Diving Bell and the Butterfly is a remarkable work of literature that explores the depths of human experience. Through his vivid imagery, attention to detail, and powerful storytelling, Jean Dominique Bobby creates a portrait of life that is both poignant and inspiring. His words remind us of the beauty and value of every moment, and the power of the human spirit to overcome even the most daunting of challenges.